Hi, my name is Che Bing. I work on the ClickMaps product team at Analytics 8. Today, I thought I'd show you how to build a polygon map in ClickMaps 3.0. ClickMaps takes the mystery out of building a map, and with a few mouse clicks, you can build very detailed maps without writing a single line of code. That said, sometimes you need to write code to get the customized maps you're looking for, and ClickMaps 3.0 gives you the same flexibility to customize but has the added templates to make getting started even easier. Instead of talking about it, let's just build a map. Starting with a blank sheet, I'll go to the edit mode and drag a click maps object onto the canvas. On the right hand side, we're presented with a properties panel for layer one. I'm going to draw a polygon map by clicking on the polygon button and selecting region from the dimension dropdown. Now, ClickMaps has automatically searched our data model and found a related boundary field for region called Region Boundary. Now, at ClickMaps, we've spent a lot of time automating this so that ClickMaps can do the work of finding the boundary field. But there are going to be times ClickMaps can't figure it out, and that's okay. If ClickMaps can't automatically find the field, you'll be presented with the Geo field dropdown where you can select the appropriate field. By default, ClickMaps will generate a polygon map and even configure basic pop-ups. Now, if you've been counting, that's two clicks to configure a map and pop-ups. Now the colors it generates are randomized, which is helpful in confirming that all the expected polygons are rendered on the map, but it's not incredibly helpful in performing any kind of analysis. We can improve the map by using the color expression to show how the sum of receipts vary from region to region. We can do this by verifying that the sum button is highlighted and then selecting receipts from the dropdown. You can see that ClickMaps then applies a gradient to the shapes where the darker the color, the higher the volume of receipts. I'd like to point out that only one click was needed to configure the colors, but that one click also added the value of the expression to the pop-up. You can change the colors used by selecting a different palette from the dropdown. And if you can't find a palette you like, or you need more customized expressions, you can select Use Expression from the color dropdown and enter your own expression. Here you have two options, Value and Color. If Value is selected, ClickMaps will evaluate the expression and apply the selected palette. This would be helpful if you wanted to use an if statement or set analysis. Now if color is used, the expression should evaluate to a color that will be used on the map. This is very similar to the way previous builds of ClickMaps worked, so many of your maps built prior to 3.0 use this functionality to be backwards compatible. For now, let's customize the map expression using value and enter in a set modifier where month ID is equal to 2. If you watch closely, you'll see the modifier make a difference between the central and northeast polygon. You see that the automated pop-ups are still working, so they should help those of us not familiar with Texas identify the region. You might also notice that the pop-ups have dropped the receipts information. This is because we're using a custom expression that ClickMaps is currently unable to pick up. No big deal. We'll open the pop-ups, uncheck the auto-generate button, and enter the expression back in. If the pop-up looks a little scary, don't worry. It's just basic HTML, and we have a lot of examples on our knowledge base that can be tailored to meet your needs. And if you can't find what you're looking for, just let us know. We're always looking for new examples to post, and we can probably help you out. Now, if we navigate beyond our basic map, we see options for border and drilling. Under border, we're presented with a few ways to modify the look of our polygons. The color dropdown lets us select colors from a palette, or we can customize using an expression, while the pattern dropdown lets us choose a different pattern for border, or vary the pattern based on an expression. Width and opacity sliders add boldness or nuance to the polygons by easily moving the slider left or right. I know, some of you are thinking we've hit a customization wall here, but fear not. Clicking on the gear icon at the top shows us the expression used for width and opacity, so you can customize these values as well. The last heading is drilling. 
Now, drilling has greatly simplified the use of hide and show, and the calculation condition. But before we can show you how it works, we need to add another layer. Closing the region layer, I'm going to add layer 2 by selecting County from the Dimension dropdown, and setting an expression for the color. At this point, our custom regions are covering our smaller county polygons, making them difficult to see. This is where drilling can make the map more usable. Drilling will let us define when a layer is visible, and when it's appropriate to hide it. In Layer 2, we'll select Region as the parent. This tells Click Maps that we're going to use the Region field to help determine when it is best to show the county polygons. Click Maps immediately makes some assumptions and sets the before and after to hidden. Now, hidden means that the polygons are not being displayed but ClickMap still has them ready to go in the layer control. This is beneficial when you want the end user to decide at what level to see the next level down of polygons. With hidden selected, the user can turn the layer on and off in the layer control, or when they select a subset of the parent region. If they select a single region here, the county layer will be shown. Sometimes you don't want the user to see a layer until they've made certain selections. To illustrate, let's add one more layer. The zip layer has much smaller boundaries, and you can see in certain areas, it's impossible to even see the colors assigned to those boundaries. If a user was allowed to turn this layer on, they could easily misinterpret the data. Drilling can be used here as well. For a parent, we'll select the next geographical area up, which would be county. And by default, ClickMaps once again assigns hidden to the before drilling section. This means that the user can turn the layer on and off at any time. To change this, switch the before drilling section to unavailable. This removes the zip boundaries in the layer control and allows the developer to choose when the layer is shown. Now, even though most drilling situations can be set up using simple dropdowns, there are times when it is necessary to more highly customize how layers are made available. Clicking on the gear icon allows for customized expressions so you can create the user flow you're looking for. I hope you've seen in this video that building polygon maps and click maps is easy. If you have any questions, reach out to us at clickmaps.com. See you next time.